We're gonna speed it up. Hi guys! Go on, Nathan. What's the next step? <laughs> the question is, what are our next steps? How are you going to improve it? Who, what, what when, when, and why? How? Who's how? Yeah, it's oh, and how? We're gonna speed up. How? This how? This okay then, so, basically... <laughs> don't... Sorry. Answering the first question, what are your next steps? So, um, we thought about quiet, like, we thought about it briefly mm, as a group, as a group, and we uh, figured out that we need to add some more narrative shots into the um, perform into the performance section. This um, basically means that um, we need to like, because there's a lot of flashbacks inside the um, overall video, as it is um, a video where they're re reminiscing, mm -hmm. and we just decided that if we bring in more narrative shots, it will explain the story a bit more clearer. And tell the audience, like it will show the show the audience what's going on, etc. Yeah. Um. So for the narrative section, um, sure. we don't have a lot of shots for um, Hayden's bit, but we have a lot of narrative bit for Gideon's bit. So we thought we'll add more shots for Hayden's bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what the audience feedback. Um. So more. in our classes, we had a little um, feedback session where we watched each other's videos and um, said negative and positives about um, each other's videos. And um, some of the, the negative comments included that um, our video is out of sync. So um, during Gideon's part, it may seem like the music and the video that like, don't correlate. But it's not, it's not too obvious, but you still know that it's there. Um, and that's because um, the cut between um, the chorus and Gideon's bit was a bit off, like it blanks off, so we need to change that. Mm. Um, also, and another thing was that the narrative shots they go by too quickly, and people like have to really think about what's going on um, because they don't really understand as soon as they see it. So mm. we need to extend those too. Yeah, some more criticism that we got um, whilst we were inside our lesson and the little survey happened. Um, we realised that um, well, from coming back from the feedback, it said how. Um, we need to focus more on our lip syncing, as um, our lip syncing wasn't really in, in um, time with the uh, with the actual lyrics. And through this, we decided that we've spoken about it, and we've decided that um, we're going to use Final Cut Pro just to adjust it and make sure that it's in time. Um, Karen, you, you had something to say about that, didn't you? About um, the... yeah, we just need we just we just need to put in a transition so instead of it blanking out, it, it goes smoothly. Mm. Yeah. Um, the way we would do it um, is that we've come together as a group and also we've brought it down, detailed, so lyric by lyric, where we need to improve, how it's going to benefit the music video and how it's going to make it better. Um, we've also decided to go and look back on our storyboard to see um, whether we've like strayed away from our original ideas or if we haven't and um, if so, if we should like go back like to what we first thought. Um, because I know that um, during like the, the yeah yeah during the filming process, yeah. we've kind of like just come yeah. up with ideas, so we want to figure out if we want to go back to our original ideas or not. Yeah. Um, um, also, um, one other thing that we decided that we should do is um, the narrative sections. They're a bit too short, so we're deciding to extend them, mm. and um, through extending them, we'll, we'll like give a clear view to the audience as well. What's the major point? <clears throat> we have some irrelevant shots as well that we want to remove, such as in the chorus, there's a shot of Hayden and Gideon <laughs> where they're just looking at the camera and um, singing the chorus. They look really awkward. Yeah, that's a bit awkward. And also, <coughs> for the chorus bit, we wanted to change some of the um, shots. We didn't want to change shots, we want to add shots. Mm -hmm. So, for example, we want to um, add all the narrative bits and, like, as a summary, for the chorus, so it goes from Hayden's um, section to Gideon's section. So there's two chorus. The chorus is said twice, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah. do you mean to re to repeat the shots? Yeah, we want to repeat. Yeah. The but shots. if you repeat the shots, when they're not awkward. No, no, it's not. Like, it, no, it's like yeah. a summary. A merge. Everything, it's like a merge. Everything put together. So we tried it. Yeah. It looks nice. Yeah. So yeah. like speed sped up. It's basically like a merge. Yeah. Of all the different the shots and everything that was in the chorus. Yeah. So it shows like a, a flashback. Because our chorus, we don't know what to do with it, so we thought we'll just add everything again. Yeah. yeah. In terms of our ancillary products, um, um, our digipack, as our back panel, we have the roads or 
what our album is based around and we should really have shots relating to it so everything across all our auxiliary products including the website yeah. has something yeah has relates so um, we created a brand for our artist called 24 7 grind and we thought that we would use that logo in our music video on our website and on digipack just you know so everything's integrated and it looks nice and put together yeah so it's a um, very unique touch as well as um like it will be good to like, have a brand for the for the what's for, for the um artists and it shows how um because even on, on our website we've showed the merchandise and everything created t-shirts um hats and low um keychains and stuff like that and especially yeah, the phone cases as well it's all things that relate to um please yeah watch it yeah so from there from the phone cases we're going to be um moving on to the website and in the website we basically just decided that there's going to be diff like diff a different concept with like the news feed, um, we've added Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, their platforms. Yes, and their major platforms, especially for someone, um, an artist in our genre, that's where they, they build a heavy fan base. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Um, in terms of our digipack, we want to make it 10 out of 10 mm -hmm. after getting feedback that is nine. Um, we'll do this by going over it and then Comparing it to I don't know, um, artist one, artist one that's very popular, but like um, <laughs> Konnichiwa by Skepta. Mm. That was um, that was something different, and then it sold a lot as well due to like the display and how it is. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's basically it, and thanks for watching. Hope watch out for the final. The cut. final cut yeah. is looking to be. <laughs> And yeah, see you later. Stop it. Oh. <laughs>